Pirates, pirates, pirates. Can you believe I found a pirate curriculum? It is from Campfire Curriculums. It's on the screen right now. I'm gonna show you a flip through of it. it it's digital. It's 41 pages, um, so it's several lessons. And Campfire Curriculums is interesting because they have one on zoology. They have, it's like mini study units. They have one on meteorology, on volcanoes, and they're very well done. Uh, they're very well done. I wouldn't, I certainly wouldn't consider it a science curriculum, like an all encompassing science curriculum, but definitely more study units and, and teaches you a lot of stuff and the crafts are pretty good too. Now what I love about them is they have, so every mini unit you buy. So this is the pirate one. So what I'm showing you is the elementary one. They also have a mini kindergarten version of this and then a high school or adult version of it as well. And it definitely qualifies as history um, because you're learning so many things I didn't even know about um, pirates and where all the information came from and things like that. So, and while I let you see that curriculum, what I'm also gonna do is I'm gonna show you some of my favorite, favorite pirate books for all ages. So my kids love this one, Captain Jack. And there's this one, How to Be a Pirate. It's a sweet one. Now these are my absolute favorite and my kids love them too. This one is Pirate Girl. I don't wanna spoil it for you, but it, it's very interesting. It's a good read, I like it. This one, I could not get enough of. This one, I love. It's Pirate versus Pirate. And what's interesting is he has his boat and his crew and she has her boat and her crew and they compete on everything. And then they fall in love. I love it, I love it. This one is interesting. Not only does it rhyme, but it is, so he's a pirate that's not allowed in the library and she teaches him, she tells him that she's gonna help him find treasure. But you know, the treasure isn't gold as you find out in this book, so. Now these, as you get a bit older, this is Blackbeard's, it's a story, one of the famous stories about Blackbeard and him trying to commandeer or take over one of the Navy ships. So that is uh, interesting. These Truth and Rumor books, uh, very good. This one's very good. It's a little older, like I wouldn't say five years old because I tried it on my five-year-old and when he was five and now that he's um, a bit older, a few years older, I'm gonna try it again. And I think this time it'll be a much bigger hit. And this one is the 10 worst nasty pirates. So, I mean, so it's just got some history about, about those pirates, but the lessons itself are very good. So the elementary, I would say eight and up to do the elementary. Now, of course they have a younger version, um, but it's just, um, when you buy the program, it comes with all three, right? So whether you're buying the meteorology, the, the volcanoes, it comes with all three. And if, you, if you're secular and you don't like um, talking about the Bible or God in there, they have a little section in every lesson called faith talks and you can skip it. It's very small and doesn't affect the story at all. Um, but I would start, yeah, so the elementary curriculum is meant for grade one and up. I would start it at eight, I think, because even though it's interesting to a six-year-old, seven-year-old, I think you'll retain more information if you're older than eight. So this is the crude, unpleasant age of pirates and it's pretty good. It's not bad, it's disgusting details. Mm -hmm. So here's another one, Lives of the Pirate. This one I haven't looked through. This one I hadn't, I hadn't read yet. Um, but what I liked about it was it talked about a woman pirate who came, who was scheduled to get married. I believe she was from Norway and she decided to run away and start her pirate crew. So it has a lot of stories about them, Lives of the Pirates. All right, now getting into more interesting pirate books would be, this one is by the people who did the Treehouse stories. It's, it's, a good reading level, I would say, for five, six, and seven. So it's got a lot of helpful information. This is a really cool book because you get to choose. Either you're on the big ship, you're on, like you're on the Navy side, or you're on a pirate side. So you get to choose um, which, I guess, who you are in the story, and it's like a choose your own adventure. Let me put that up close there for you to see it. Now these two books, this is really good. She, uh, she or he, I'm not sure, they, I have no idea who wrote this, but it's a year on a pirate ship. They also do a year in a castle and a year in a construction site. The year in the castle is really good too. The problem is, is the binding isn't that strong. So the year in the castle, eventually we just had to throw it out because I've taped it and taped it and taped it. 
and uh, this one's held up okay um, but it is a year and a pirate ship so it's, it's kind of interesting and cool in that sense and this is a uh, see inside usborn see inside the pirate ship one it's good i wouldn't buy this used because it has so many flaps and on the screen too what i'm going to show you is i'm going to um because i have i have a channel and a kids channel and we go to different we go to castles we go to playgrounds um, things like that. So we went to the Playmobil Playland and they had a giant pirate ship. So I take them on the tour of the pirate ship and while we're playing on the pirate ships and stuff, I talk a little bit about um, some interesting facts about pirates. Um, not too many, but it's still, it's kind of an interesting thing. So that's free um, as well. You can take a look at that. I'll put the link down in the description and uh, I'll put the picture up on the screen so you can see that. But I do like the campfire curriculums as far as as far as it goes, I think it's well priced. Normally, normally, like the last um, curriculum that I paid um, twenty dollars for, I want to say twenty dollars for, was well, I'll put it on the screen. I think it's Be Curious, and I honestly didn't think it was worth that much to pay that, even though it was good information. I just didn't think the amount of information you got was worth it. But this for the twenty dollars, I do think it's worth it, um, and I I think it's great that they have different age levels that you can do um, that you can read it out so you might want to take a look at those as well can you say please like and subscribe be right to like and hit the bell for notifications the bell you know it that <laughs> <laughs>